What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium 2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated Chuck, the Cyanwood City Gym Leader. And we had a huge question, very, very huge question, and that is, how is it that a Gramble, a normal type Pokemon, how is it not affected by a Hypnosis, but it is affected by a Psychic move, or a Psychic attack? Both the same typing. I want to know, comment down below, please. So, here in this game, or in this episode, we are going to be taking on all of Vine City's gym leader, Jasmine. Yes, yes, the kind, beautiful one. And she does have Steel Tap Pokemon. And she is the only one that we're going to be facing in this one right here. I guess they're following through with the whole, uh, you know, uh, the whole through the, the whole gameplay and all that stuff. So if that's the case, we're going to be going into Pokemon Yellow, and we're going to be using some of our Pokemon from there. As you can see, we got Godzilla. Godzilla, he does have some pretty good moves right here. And Kid Thunder, if you guys remember, we have him, uh, or we had him in Pokemon Crystal. Traded him to Pokemon uh, to Pokemon Yellow for you know the remainder of the game, or not for the remainder of the game, but just you know for an episode there. We're going to be using some fire and ground type Pokemon, and, uh, well, let's go ahead and go with Ultra Psycho right here, and just for, you know, an added measure right here, let's go with, uh, a Bright Powder just to screw with people's accuracy, obviously, Ultra Psycho, or, uh, Thrasher needs to be in the fold, he does have a TM43 as its item, so, wait, hold on, let's see, really? Thrash? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bubble Beam. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, where's the C button right here? Um, check the, uh, no, you know what? Let's go with this one right here, okay. So we're gonna go with Thrasher, and, well, let's see. Uh, Polka Dot Bull, um, you know what? Let's keep it like that. All right. Okay, so we need to get it. We need to get something right here. Uh, let's go with the berry. And uh, let's see. So we got three good Pokemon right here, and uh, it looks like to me we need another one, a useful one right here. So let's see what's up right here. Now we could use we could use Patrick right here. This guy does have Water type moves and a Psychic type move, and it is very very fast. So let's see. Poliswag. Um, you know what? Let's use Poliswag right here, and uh, let's go with uh, the leftovers just in case. Mew de Uno right here could be used, but that guy is not strong enough. I need to change the move set to this guy, and then uh, let's see. We got two slots left. Kind of want to use this guy, but eh, it might not work out. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, looks like to me that. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to straight up just hit this guy with everything we got. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't. We need to hit him. Uh, let's see. I guess we're gonna have to just hit him with a uh, with just like the moves that we have right here. God, trying to figure out what what we can actually use. So we have two, three, three. Okay, so we got ground type Pokemon. God dang it! I wish we could. Oh, hold on, just a sec. GB one old Pokedex, new Pokedex. Okay. Oh no, no, never mind. That right there is just, uh, you know, uh, just fixing up their, their positioning right here. So, you know what? Screw it. Let's go with Hydra. And let's go ahead and use a different berry right here. Let's go with, uh, huh. Okay, let's go with this one right here. And just for added measure, let's go right ahead and use Budkiss. Budkiss, of course we'll be using the charcoal so this is a it's kind of a one-sided team but it's one battle and it's up against jasmine right here as you can see she is the leader and um i'm jasmine pleased to meet you now we spent a little more time figuring out our team than you know all that stuff so as you can see she does have a nice uh he does have a nice crew right here and well Let's go with this, that, and you know we 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 gotta make a we gotta make a call right here because this is ridiculous. Like okay, so she's got two water type Pokemon, and she does have uh, the majority of our steel type Pokemon. So 
Uh, what can we do? What can we do when we don't know? Screw it. Let's go with this guy. All right. Maximum effort. Let's go right ahead. And here is the gym battle. We're basically using most of our time here to figure out things. And, uh, well, our first Pokemon will be Butkus, just for the fire type capabilities. And she comes out with, come on, please let it be a steel type, steel type, steel type, and balls. So we kind of screwed ourselves a little bit, so we, we're probably going to have to switch out right here. Good thing is that this Pokemon right here is a flying and water type Pokemon, just the same as my good old buddy Hydra. So we're going to be switching it out. Say goodbye to Butkus, and say hello to our good old buddy Hydra, the original right here, because it does have Thunder Attack. And, uh, well, she's going to be coming out with a Surf Attack. Not so effective against Hydra. And, uh, yes, not very effective. But hopefully we are fast enough to actually beat this guy. So let's go with a Thunderbolt. Come on, fast. God dang it. And, of course, she's exchanging Mantine. And she's coming out with, of course, Steelix. But there is one good thing about this one. And that is that Steelix is also a Ground-type Pokemon. So... Not going to be a problem right here. And plus, Hydra, faster than Steelix. So here we go. Let's get this whole Surf Attack going. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Surf Attack. Finish him. And that takes half, or almost half its HP right here. And here comes a Rock Throw. And it's going to be super effective. Oh, damn. Super effective and critical hit right here. So let's go right ahead and use another Surf to win this. And, of course, she's going to be switching out her Pokemon. What the hell? Come on. And what does she come out with? She's coming out with a Mantine again. Okay, I see what she's doing right here. She She's messing with us. She's messing with us right now. And, well, here's a Surf attack. Not so effective. Okay, here comes a quadruple damage. Please let us be powerful. And here's a surf attack from Mantine herself. And that nearly takes us out. Come on, Thunderbolt, finish it. It should work. Should finish this guy off, but no. Oh, God. Okay, so, yeah. Mantine, you slut. Okay. Oh my god, so, what are, okay, so th this is one thing that I really, really do like about Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2 is that there are Pokemon that are being used that are never used, or you could never ever think of be, uh, of using in the other games. Mantine is one of them, and uh, you know what, Mantine is a pretty good Pokemon to actually have, and it, you know, it's fast, it's a flying type Pokemon as well, and uh, well... Too bad for it, it's going to go up against Ultra Psycho right here, and we all know Ultra Psycho is the MVP, because it's broken, and look at that. Damn it! Magic! Oh, holy crap! Okay, so its defense is pretty high, okay. So, we kind of... <laughs> so, it, it kind of feels like we were counting on Ultra Psycho just a little too much right here, so... I see why Mantine is a good Pokemon right here. I'm thinking of probably using one one of these days. So here we go, Psychic Attack. Come on, finish him off. There we go. Okay, so... That right there defeats a tanky Pokemon. Now that is a tanky Pokemon. No wonder she's the only Pokemon trainer here. God dang, she... She is playing hardball and, uh, well, she is coming out with her Fortress. Obviously, Fortress is a Bug-type Pokemon, too, so that right here in Generation 2 is going to be a huge deficit. So we're going to hit it as hard as we can, and not so effective, but here comes a double-edge attack, and that takes us out. No biggie. We do have Arcanine, which is faster than both these guys. Fortress, of course, is a bug and steel type Pokemon, so it will get a quadruple damage on it. And, well, let's go for Budkiss right here. Oh, God. Alright, let's get it, Budkiss. Let's do it. Let's win. And since we got charcoal, we got the charcoal, we're gonna win this, hopefully. So here we go. Let us be fast. Flamethrower attack for the win. 
with a charcoal and this one takes care of fortress and that leaves steelix right here which of course has half the half its hp we are faster than this guy so it looks like we're gonna win this hopefully we're gonna win this so here comes its tank pokemon steelix holy crap now to me steelix is one of the coolest pokemon ever the only downside to it is that you know it's super slow very very slow and then yeah so here comes a flamethrower and that takes care of steelix throwing out that peace sign guys i am throwing out that peace sign say goodbye to jasmine so it would seem i was correct yeah we took uh, more time actually figuring out our team and figuring out our strategy than battling jasmine herself my god she's beautiful perhaps i should step down as a gym leader no no you are very very good very awesome gym leader okay so that <laughs> that was a quick one right there guys that was very very quick so oh crap baskets oh god okay so there's a little something going on right here before you go any further let's see how you'll fare against us team rockets well just when you think you're done you're gonna have to take on Team Rocket right here, and you're gonna have to take on all four of their trainers. So, what is going to happen right here is in the next episode, it's a special episode, we are going to be taking on Team Rocket themselves, and, uh, yeah, I seriously thought we were gonna go to Price, but, yeah, you guys kind of ruined it for me, freaking Team Rocket. So, stay tuned, guys, in the next one, we will be taking on Team Rocket. See you guys.